Opening the Ballot Counter Ramsey County uses hard scan ballot counters to count ballots on Election Day. Voters place their completed ballots into this unit. The precinct's ballot counter will be delivered to the polling place with the rest of the polling place supplies before Election Day. The head judge is responsible for opening, closing, and managing the unit throughout the day. Opening the ballot counter should be one of the first tasks the head judge completes. To properly open the ballot counter, follow the green opening instructions. You will need to gather the following materials. The green opening instructions from the green folder, the black ballot box, the ballot counter, the voting equipment keys and power cord, and the official certification form for the ballot counter. First, confirm the blue seal number on the ballot counter's case. This number should match the one listed on the certification form. Also confirm that the seal is unbroken. Then, set up the black ballot box, remove the box from its carrying bag, and place it in its proper position. Unlatch the clips from the sides of the box. Expand the box, and lower the bottom. Then unhook the top of the box from the side and lift it into place. Using the black key, unlock the front door and press the floor down into place. Ensure that the lock underneath the ballot box lid is pulled forward. Set the ballot counter on top of the ballot box and align the foot pads with the indents on the box. Lock the ballot counter into place by pushing the lock inside the box backwards. Close and lock the door. Once the ballot counter is secured on top of the ballot box, unlatch and open up the ballot counter case. Lock the lid braces into place. Using the blue key, unlock the tablet. Lift the latch and remove the tablet. Seat the tablet into the cradle. Tilt it back and lock it. The ballot counter will not operate unless a tablet is locked into place. Attach the ballot counter to the AC power supply. Remove the power cord from its housing. Connect its components and plug it into the back of the ballot counter and into a power source. Then power on the ballot counter by pressing the red power button on the back side of the unit. The boot up process takes about five minutes. Once complete, select Print Zero Report. The zero report will begin to print automatically. Verify that the information on the zero report is correct, confirming that the unit is for the correct precinct. If you have the wrong precinct's ballot counter, call the Ramsey County Elections Hotline. If the information on the zero report is correct, Verify that the seal number on the memory card cover matches the number listed on the official certification form. Enter the Open the Polls password listed in the opening instructions. Then press Accept. The Open the Polls report will print automatically. Once the printout is complete, the ballot counter will be ready to accept ballots. Remove the printouts from the ballot counter and have all the election judges sign the bottom of the tapes, confirming that the information on the reports is correct. Place the signed printouts in the Manila Summary Statement envelope for Ramsey County. Using the blue tape, mark off a six-foot perimeter that only voters casting a ballot may enter. The ballot counter is open and ready to accept ballots. Closing the ballot counter. At the close of polls, once the last voter has cast her ballot, you may close the ballot counter. For this process, you will need the ballot counter, the voting equipment keys, the step-by-step -step closing instructions from the red folder, and the official certification form for the ballot counter. Following the red closing instructions, press the blue poll worker button on the back side of the unit. The display screen will list a selection of options, Choose Close Poll. Once the polls have been closed, they cannot be reopened. Enter the Close Polls password listed on the closing instructions, then select Accept. The Closing the Polls report will begin to print automatically. You will need to print two additional reports. Do this by selecting Tally Report. Have all election judges sign the bottom of the printed reports. The first printed report needs to go into the Manila Summary Statement envelope for Ramsey County, which should contain the zero report from opening the polls. A second report needs to go into the Summary Statement envelope for the municipality. A third report can be used for public display if requested. 
Once the reports have been printed, you can turn off the unit by pressing the red power button on the back side of the ballot counter. Once the unit has completed powering off, you may begin to take down the ballot counter. Wait until the display screen is completely blank before removing the AC power cord. Then, using the blue key, unlock the tablet, tilt it forward, and remove it from the cradle. Place the tablet into its compartment, lower the blue latch, and lock the tablet in place. Unlock the lid braces and lower the cover of the ballot counter. Using the black key, unlock the front door of the ballot box and unlock the ballot counter from the ballot box by pulling the white string down and forward. Remove the ballot counter from the ballot box. Remove the voted ballots from the ballot box. Place all the voted ballots into the transfer case for the polling place ballots. Secure the voted ballots as described in the Closing the Polls training video and in the reference guide. Remember to check the inside of the ballot box for any remaining ballots that might be stuck to the sides of the box. You may begin to disassemble the ballot box. Lift up the floor of the ballot box, then close and lock the front door of the box. Lift up the top of the box and return it to the side. Secure to the side using the attached straps. Flatten the box by compressing the two sides together. Use the plastic clips to secure the box together. Place the ballot box into its carrying bag. The ballot box will remain at the polling place and be picked up with other election supplies. Once the ballot counter has been properly closed down and the remainder of the duties required to close the polling place have been completed, the head judge will deliver the ballot counter to the elections office with the other materials that need to be returned on election night. Once the ballot counter is returned to Ramsey County, the memory device will be removed so results can be uploaded to the Secretary of State's office and reported to the public. Thank you.